Liz Truss's in-tray might be intimidating, but so is this. Brahim is a single dad of four kids. He can't work because of a recent injury. He's scared. Do you have any idea how you will pay that money? To be honest, I don't have any idea how to... I have to... I have to... If I want... If I'm going to pay that bill, I have to uh, cut uh, f my kids' food, uh, clothes. As Brahim makes the changes, he can. Because I cook only one a day. If I cook in the morning, I cook for dinner and lunch. The new prime minister has promised to spell out her plan within a week after declining to give details during the campaign. So what could she announce? There might be more targeted help for the most vulnerable, an increase in the £400 fuel discount, or will she freeze the price cap, as Labour has suggested? Some say that's inevitable. The size of the problem facing the new Prime Minister is just so much bigger than even was anticipated just a few months ago. And so a policy solution like the one that the Boris Johnson government implemented, where you give cash payments to different types of households, maybe to lower income households or to pensioners, just won't cut the mustard anymore. Meanwhile, European gas prices have jumped 30% after Russia announced it will not be reopening the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Germany has responded with a plan to give consumers a basic allowance of energy at a discounted rate. And Finland and Sweden are to offer billions of euros in liquidity guarantees to energy companies. Whatever Liz Truss's plan, the question will be how will it be funded? A windfall tax for energy companies? That could lead to higher bills in years to come. Then there's cuts to public spending or extra borrowing. There are no easy answers. But Brahim and millions more are bracing themselves for winter and need action fast. Tessa Chapman, 5 News.